Okay, today we're going to three lots in Rancho La Garita in Los Animas County, just west of Trinidad, Colorado. We're driving up Sarcio Canyon Road. You uh, go west out of Trinidad about oh, 15 miles to Segundo and then about another mile and then you take a ride onto Sarcio Canyon Road. And we're driving up Sarcio Canyon Road going basically north. And uh, I just wanted to give you a, little, a few shots of the drive as you're coming up, up this way. I'll show you where you take your right hand turn. You only go about seven miles up this road and uh, take a right up here, right past a pond. And we'll go take a look at the lots. We're about 25 minutes from Trinidad up going up to these lots. Uh, there's mom and pop grocery stores along Highway 12. You're about halfway to the mountain lakes and, uh, and there's public lands all around. Spanish Peak Wildlife Area is just a little bit further up past the turn off here. And um, I'll show you that as we're coming up. Okay, we've gone just about seven miles. You see the West Spanish Peak in the background there. That's a wildlife area up there. And then there's a oh, four or 5,000 wildlife acre area a little bit further up the road here. There's a pond. When you see that pond and you can see this West Spanish Peak, and you can see that house then right around the corner right up here is the right hand turn going to Lagarita. okay we just came around the corner and about to take a right hand turn into Lagarita here there's signage and it shows uh, the spanish peaks wildlife area is about three miles up that way and uh and then there's a sign right here it says rancho Lagarita. and oh don't want to run into somebody just take that right and then you just follow this road and stay on it until you run into a, there's gonna be a firehouse about a mile up here on the left hand side okay we're coming to the firehouse you want to stay right at the firehouse it's a volunteer fire department so your insurance rates are gonna be lower if you build something so you stay right at the firehouse right here and you can see by the maps that I'll, I would send to you also how to get here so we're gonna stay on this road until we get to basically the very end of it. And I'll show you that here in just a, just a few minutes, uh, in that long. Okay, the road's narrowed a little bit. There's not a lot of people back in here. This is in the very back of the ranch and very private back in here. Power is about, oh, it's within a quarter mile and the property boundaries allow for uh, you to pow pull power along uh, boundary lines. So the power is across the valley from this property, but not very far away. We're still following power lines right here. So we've come to the end of that road I was talking about. So you can see that gate? We're on the Lark Bunting Lane. And you can see the house up there on the hill. And this is where, uh, this is gonna be maintained by the, uh, the people of the subdivision. And the, uh, there's gas wells in here too, so the gas company maintains this road for now, about another 20 years. So we've just been driving that little road and you come to this point here, that goes off the property. The first lot, 287, starts right here at this corner. And it's uh, the terrain, if you look at it on the topo maps, which I'll show you, and the aerial, it's very gentle. So I'm gonna walk through each of these lots and uh, they basically go all along this road and down uh, there's a gas well finally down at the bottom down there at the uh, at the end of the road okay today we're going to lot 289 in Lagarita Ranch we drove in on the road the main road everything you see a road taken off to a gas well down there which you can see right here so if I turn the map right this bottom lot this one here is 289 and the old cul-de-sac that got, reaches down to it that's what it looks like not too bad i mean you can knock it in real easy the big stuff's out of the way but we're going to go down here and take a lot of, look at lot 289. 
Yeah, here we go. I think I got the right road. Oh, God. So this is uh, 288 on this side. We're, this is on the lower half of 288. I'm just getting off that first part. Not too bad. See if we can tell where there's a cul-de-sac here. We're at it. Yep, that would be that. And this right here was the cul-de-sac. And so 289 is everything down here below. And going out this direction a little ways. Okay, we just came in on the old cul-de-sac road. It's real short. It's not bad. You're on top of solid, pretty much solid rock here. There's not mud where you sink into it and get stuck. So a little bit of a road work and you're ready to go so this lot 289 goes south here and you're going to have interior views with the that uh mesa over there to the northeast you know we're standing we're standing just we're standing about right here and north is that direction 288 and 87 are right over there on the top so we're going to take off and go walking down through this one and see what we find. We're going to come to the edge of a, a overlooking a, a little canyon right here on the bottom on the south end, south end of the property down here. Now you have to use the wheeler peak out this direction. And when you're standing here, Wheeler Peaks over Taos, New Mexico. Yeah, it's probably about 35, 40 miles out there in a straight line. It looks about like that when you're standing here. We're still walking south into the lot, going to that back southern boundary line that overlooks a little canyon. A little cul de sac just right up that short little hill. Elk tracks. It's monsoon season time right now, so you're uh, getting good. We're getting good moisture, about a quarter to three quarters of an inch of rain every day. Oh, looky, there's some cows. Okay, uh, it's free range here. You, unless you fence out, you know, the cattle can uh, graze. But we're basically coming to that point right there this grass area we're standing in and uh, maybe it'd be neat to come back in here and put a cabin or a place right up on top of that little rock ledge there be in the center of your property I'm not too worried about us are they Oh, you can see the Sangre de Cristos through here. So yeah, we'll go up there on that ledge and see if we can pick more of them up. But when you're standing here, look about like that. Come to the edge of that cliff. This cliff edge is basically going to be, I don't know if he's even a cliff, looks like it just goes down a hill. But it's basically going to be the southern boundary on this property. Let's see if we can see over the valley here. That's kind of pretty down there. Now we're just gonna walk, oh, kind of east here. Try to stay basically along that southern boundary line, get to this next big grass patch. And we'll know we're towards the northeastern corner up here. And that area, I was pointing out where the cows are at, and there's views, it's right here in the center. 
I guess I'll walk up there first and then we'll cut across over there to that grassy area. Walk to the cows. Wasn't elk, it was cow tracks. Oh, hello. Going away. I'm okay with the cows, but not a big bull. Okay, made it around the cows. We were, we walked down through here to the edge, ran to a bull, came back around, came up here. And now you can see that grassy area over here at the southeastern corner. We're overlooking it. There's a little drainage runoff right there. That drainage runoff is just outside the eastern boundary. I can see a fence post right down there in the grass area. So I don't know how much that eastern boundary fence, but it's pretty neat. Big open, nice views up the valley all around. And if you want to, I can see the Sangre de Cristos through here. Knock down about three, four of these trees and you're going to have good views from here. So the rest of the lot goes back up in here basically to northern boundary right there it's basically right below that hilltop right up there that's 288 up there on that hilltop pretty you get to see this mesa all the way full too from this location not exactly through yet you gotta you still you have good sangre de cristo views on this property too there's a nice wide open shot. Again, about that big when you're standing here. Okay, we just came a, along the ridge from the cows here a little bit. We're still looking towards the east. The eastern boundary is right on along the edge of that grass over there, grassy area. And we're back at the uh, cul de sac entrance, too. Or end. This is a little bit driving out, coming out of uh, from Lagaria lots uh, 287, 88, and 89. 288, 88, and 89. Like I say, it's only about 25 minutes to town from here. Got year round access and living. Sure is pretty. The mountains are a lot bigger, like I've been showing you on the videos. Okay, we're still driving out. You can see these valleys and fields. And you come back to the firehouse I pointed out earlier and stay left up here. You can go right and stay on the main road. It'll take you all the way back to Highway 12 close to Trinidad. It's pretty drive, but it, it, it's longer. I don't know, it's six one half dozen the other, I guess. Yeah, you know, you're wearing your tires will be more. You get the pavement quicker down this way. But it sure is pretty driving that way. And you get to see the mountains again as you're driving out too. To the west, those are the Sangre de Cristos. Now we're coming back down to the turn. Uh, when you're coming up, you took a right to come up here. And it's seven miles five miles back down to pavement and then two more miles on pavement down to highway 12 and uh, you got the rancho lagarita sign right here at the bottom and you got the state wildlife area or at least for the one of them the 6,000 acre one is to the right and like i say it's about 10 minutes away and there's where you go back down to the pavement and highway 12 <laughs> 